بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما برحبة في الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, to accept our good and forgive our evil and protect us all from kulisu wa makru. May Allah bless us with ikhlas, with the bad ala sunnah, sunnah to Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us all of our many sins. Ahabat tifillah. These days, Ayam of Dhul Hijjah are a time for great remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are a time of great remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in fact, all times, at all times, we should be striving our best to remember our Lord <clears throat> and to be thankful and show gratitude to Him subhanahu wa ta'ala because we need Him we praise Him we thank Him but when our hearts become hard and careless and in fact reckless with sin we lose our focus and we allow disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to supersede our acts of obedience and that's why the believer should be ever vigilant To never become heedless and to remind his, himself or herself and their brothers and sisters in Islam about the gravity of forgetting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And especially these days, we need to be extra vigilant, striving even more so to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reflecting on his infinite grace, mercy and favor upon us and praising him, having our, to our, our tongues moist with the praise and remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Inna fi jizid mudla, Ida salaha salaha jizid kullu, Wa ida fasidat fasidat jizid kullu, Ala wa hiya qalb. The Prophet Alaihi Salatu Wasallam said, Verily, in the body is a morsel of flesh. If it is healthy, the whole body is healthy. If it is sick, then the whole body is sick, barely it's the heart. So taking care of your heart is, is probably one of the most important pieces of advice <clears throat> that I can offer during these days and after these days. If you were to think of something you wanted to leave behind Islamically as a reminder for the creation, as a reminder for your brothers and sisters in Islam. Outside of this time and during this time, it would surely be taking care of the heart and doing righteous deeds in order to prepare to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and preserve your heart until you meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah Azza wa Jal says in Kitab al Kareem, Wala tumutunna illa wa antu muslimun. Don't die except in a state of Islam. 
So that means we need to constantly strive to be on ta'atillah, obedience to Allah, regardless of the different difficulties that we face in the dunya. The different trials and tribulations, the different things that are obstacles, the different things that, that are uh, in our way from coming closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or distracting us from Allah and His remembrance, we have to strive and overcome those obstacles, overtake those obstacles, go over those obstacles, surpass and kick to the side those obstacles. And this is a struggle for all of us. Because if you die right now, you have to think about what state would you die, die in? Would you die, have an acknowledged Tawheed and practice and implemented Tawheed to the best of your ability, the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone? Da'u to Ahl Sunnah? Would you have died striving to purify your heart and made your deeds sincere for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Or would it be other than that? So those are questions we always have to ask ourselves. And as believers, we always struggle with that. It's trying to make our lives more Islamically compliant. Putting Islam, putting the hereafter before our attainment and achievements in this life. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, wa adar al hayat al dunya. He prefers the life of this, he prefers this life. Meaning he prefers this life over the over the hereafter, over going to paradise. Because paradise seems abstract. We're not thinking about paradise all the time. We're thinking about getting on work, getting to work on time, getting a new car, getting a new house getting wives, getting wealth. We're thinking about those things. Where are we going to take our vacation? How are we going to enjoy? How are we going to improve our lives? How are we going to invest ourselves more in the dunya? That's generally what most people, if not 90% of the people, if not more. And everyone can be infected by that. But it's important to give time and strive, especially during these times, to clean your heart and make many, many, many good deeds to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Lastly, Ahabatifillah, just taking out time to reflect on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And there are so many easy ways that all of us can Remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by simply just making dhikr on our tongues and including our hearts. And of course the gratitude and, and the thankfulness on our limbs by saying subhanallah, alhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah, wallahu akbar. Those are very simple ways to remember your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. Just take out the time to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Thank Him. Show gratitude towards Him through the various ways of ta'at that we know from Ramadan and from other times. All the things that the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam illustrate for us as ways to be in obedience to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, then that's what we need to do. Dhikr, fasting, prayer, sunans of every type, even if it's using the miswak for the sake of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. And we ask Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, the Almighty, to accept our good and forgive our evil, protect us from kulli su'a makruh. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.